الله خليك زون Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of Dialogue Horizon. In this episode, uh, we will cover, we'll continue covering the, 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 the changing uh, events by the, almost by the hour, every now and then, the, the changing uh, events. So we'll continue on the framework, uh, ratification and signing, and the final dates. So. We are happy to host this time our activists and uh, very much very much involved in the, the, the revolution before the the ocean of the uh, salvation regime. He is uh, professor, associate professor, professor in different universities. He mainly specialized in economics, but he is at the same time politically active. Uh, our friend associate professor uh, Samani Hanun, welcome to have you with me this uh, episode. Uh, thanks, uh, Engineer Abu Haras, and it is a uh, very uh, good moment to extend a special greeting uh, to all Muslims on occasions of uh, Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem to everyone, and I hope that uh, will create value to the discussion of this special topic. Thank you. We hope we, hope we, we, can, be, we can manage to cover the um, uh, all items because in Ramadan we have a short Short episode, only 30 minutes. Definitely. Okay, let us start by the first, the, 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 the most recent event, which is, this is, reminds me of very big wisdom. One of the philosophers, he said, what, uh, further approach to an ideal behavior becomes more difficult the nearer we come to it. That's yeah. exactly what's happening now. <coughs> Framework agreement, it was uh, prepared and signed and uh, started uh, as, as, as scheduled or as planned by five workshops. All workshops went okay, some difficulties, but it, 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 it ended with good deliberations and presence of hundreds of, 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 of scholars in the, in the country. But the last one, which was two days ago, it was the workshop on the security and military arrangements about how to re a reform on the military and security arrangements. So it went all the way, at, at the last moment, two days ago, day, two days ago, the time said with four, signing the deliberations of this uh, workshop, the military component withdrew. did not withdraw and did not appear, which raised Big question. Uh, so this, 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 this. Uh, what can you say about this? Why? Because what, what, what is spilled over about the reason? They say that the difference between the the integration of the army, the rapid forces, and the and the national army. Some the the the, 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 uh, the army. They believe that two years is more than enough for the process of integration. Whereas the uh, rapid forces, they say, they need about 10 years. Uh, then Volker said the, the, the integration, five years. So it mm. seems that the, 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 the issue of, of the timing is, is, is becoming a bone of contention. Yeah. Well, what can you tell us about this? Uh, first of all, let us appreciate the approach to address the national uh, problem in Sudan through dialogue. And I think that this is the right approach to solve the uh, national or inherited uh, problem in Sudan. During the last few weeks, about five workshops were held in order to address some fundamental problems in the uh, country. And the last one focused on the security reform workshop that address the uh, uh, issue to build uh, uh, during the transitional period or sure the uh, national uh, or unified professional uh, uh, armed forces uh, so that is actually uh, subjected to discussion by the stakeholders uh, both components military and uh, civil 
and very hot debate and discussion were carried out during the workshop. But what was not expected, the withdrawals of the armed forces components from the concluding recommendations of the workshops for uh, some contrast arguments be between the rapid support forces who uh, suggested about 10 years to uh, make a complete reform and integrations of the uh, S, uh, RSF uh, forces in the national uh, armed forces and the proposal presented by the Sudanese armed forces for only two years. Uh, the, uh, the UN or UNITAMS envoy suggested about six or five years in order to conclude the integration of the armed forces. Anyway, I think this is the right way to address the problem and they can make brainstorming in order to choose the ideal way to make a full integrations of the RSF in the Sudanese National Armed Forces in order to establish uh, the uh, uh, or to, uh, unified uh, professional uh, uh, armed forces in Sudan as a uh, uh, main components of the transitional period and requirements of the civil democratic transformation in Sudan. So I think uh, this is a matter of debate, of discussion, of different arguments. Finally, I'm sure they will reconcile the area of the disputes and finally they will uh, go to the uh, to agree upon a uh, uh, given period of time and settle the disputes so so, so 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 this do you, do you think that this will affect the the scheduled uh, dates three dates because now it seems that from this it seems that the army withdrawal might maybe the army will will call for for rescheduling uh, definitely. Instead of Ferris April, Ferris April is, is, is tomorrow. Yeah. Ferris April, uh, yeah. 6 April, 11 April. It seems that things will not go as planned. Yeah. The, on the other side, the civilian component is, cons is insisting, is adamant about uh, fulfilling the dates, Ferris April, 6 and, and 11. Do you think this will lead to any? big dip, dip difference or by dip? all means uh, will negatively affect the schedule even they sign the uh, schedule according to the prescribed criteria that on the first of april they will make the, uh, the, uh, the sig uh, signature of the final phase of the political process yes. still there is need to remain it open for those who are still hesitant and reluctant to sign the agreement, especially the, uh, the peace, uh, uh, Juba peace agreement uh, uh, members who are still outside the, uh, the framework agreement. So by all means, the schedule will be affect negatively affected as a result of the withdrawals of the armed forces representative in the, uh, the, the uh, dialogue. So that is actually by or even, <coughs> sorry, even they signed the agreement, still there is need to carry on discussion with the people outside the framework agreement and especially the democratic bloc, including the GIM and the SPLA and uh, LIGO are still uh, reluctant and hesitant to sign the agreement. So the shade will, will be subject uh, by all means to uh, okay. negatively, uh, yeah, to be influenced okay. by withdrawals of the Sudanese armed forces. Okay, okay, okay major Professor, component. Uh, Professor uh, Samani Hanun, uh, this, this happened at the end of the workshop, the end of, of this week. The, the workshop started the first of uh, the, the beginning of this week. Yeah. So it started well, it started good and it was attended by the army, it was attended <coughs> by the general, both general, general Burhan, the uh, president of the Sovereignty Council and the head of the army and uh, General Hamiti and both of them they addressed the, the opening uh, ceremony, the opening session of, the, of this workshop. The same workshop which ended unfortunately yeah in the absence of the military component which means a lot so in this in this in his speech general burhan consistently repeating yeah. that he, uh, he the, the, the army will not hunt or uh, will not be under control of any civilian component 
unless it is elected. elected yeah. So this is this is this is something um, a little bit weird, a little difficult because it caused the question of what yeah. about the transition period, yeah. Professor? Transition yeah. period not not it will be governed by, by civilians, civilians, but so. not elected. Yeah, so yeah. will the army be? out of control or what 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 so what, what general you... al burhan used to send some confusing messages actually sometimes con uh, contradict with his signature to the agreement for instance he made very clear statement that the armed forces will not be subjected except to the uh, elected government for transitional period, we don't have elected government. This yes. is a national government according to the framework agreement so sponsored by the UN, sponsored by EGAD, by the international community and legal community. So there is no uh, election held up to date. I think this is one of the confusing messages actually can be understood in different dimensions. One of the dimension that uh, as if he are not going to sub, uh, uh, hand over or submit the, uh, uh, the leadership of the armed forces to the coming uh, civil uh, uh, government, yeah. So we can send such a message. And also, I think this is one of the tactic for negotiations with the, uh, the other components who propose a different uh, proposal to make reform in the armed forces. It is a part of the tactics. It is a part of the negotiation technique held by General Burhan in order to make a compromise that favor the uh, national armed forces at least when they come to the final uh, final uh, signature of the final agreement they will uh, realize some gain for the national armed forces from this tactic from this uh, way of negotiations with the other components of the uh, framework agreement so this is one of the confusing message actually sent by general burhan to the community it, it, it went to the extent to the extent that the assistance yeah, uh, for uh, um, uh, Secretary of State of America, that his his assistance. Yeah, his, and it, it seems that he's a bit worried about yeah. the withdrawal of the army, about yeah. the statements like this. Yeah, so it is, uh, what what what? Yeah, it? the U.S. Uh, definitely. No, 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 no. Uh, USA, USA, USA. Uh, much concern about development of the. Uh, civil democratic so reforms. That it was following by the hour. Yeah, following uh, the uh, uh, follow up, the uh, daily as uh, follow up. So, what is the, uh, the confusing uh, release by General Burhan actually led the assistance of the uh, uh, Minister of uh, uh, Foreign Affairs to uh, uh, make telephone to the uh, uh, President Al Burhan to inform him about uh, that the uh, U.S. is supporting the civil democratic process in Sudan. And this is, I think, to encourage them to go ahead in uh, uh, signing the agreement with the uh, other uh, uh, players in the peace agreement. So the uh, U.S., United States of America, heavily involved in the uh, peace process in Sudan and sponsoring the step day by day. And that was uh, one of the uh, sent messages that to what extent they are keen about following up the everyday development in peace process in Sudan. So immediately a call received from the assistance of the uh, foreign, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs to uh, uh, at least encourage the uh, president uh, of to the inquire general or to, or to give uh, to give just it, it's a polite warning. It yeah, seems, yeah. Seems that, it yeah. Seems that. He, uh, he, she informed him that the uh, U.S. is supporting the process. That means this is implied message. Implied. <laughs> yeah. You, you, all of you have to take uh, to work on the track. That because this, this immediately happened after the absence of the of the army component, the military component from the the final day of the workshop. Yeah. Immediately, very fast and very quickly. Yeah. It seems that they are following. Yeah, uh, the, the, the immediate response actually, it's this is what, what they call, within hours, they call the uh, general and they inform them that the United States is strongly supporting the uh, civil democratic process. And it is very clear message that you have to go ahead and to uh, take the same uh, uh, direction, so with the other components and sit together and reconcile with them the issue, uh, don't delay, and uh, in other words. So it's very sad. Yeah, very yeah. sad that we are being coached and monitored uh, so but, closely. Yeah, yeah. By, this by, is by, by because we failed to make a national reconcile locally. Sad. Yeah.
This is the cost of uh, uh, disputes, national disputes in country. So others can infor, involve directly in yeah, your yeah, uh, that national that discourse. That's very, 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 uh, very sad. Whatever we stand, uh, yeah. we take, yes. whether we do this or this side, yeah. it is sad that we are not we are unable, after 67 years yeah. of independent yeah. self-rule, yes. we are unable to bother and to mind our own business. Yeah. Yeah, engineer, we can, uh, uh, the, the most important lesson learned from this uh, very uh, on-the-spot follow-up for day-to-day -day, uh, issues in Sudan, we need to respond to the local needs, and we have to reconcile with our uh, 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 members uh, of the uh, Sudanese, uh, of, of, the, of the Sudan, the different stakeholders in country. You have to sacrifice and give more uh, relax on this assumption in order to create national reconcile among the different components. The, for, the foreign involvement in the national discourse is harmful to the national sovereignty, to the national unity. Needless to repeat that this special country since independence in 1956 and up to date, they were failed to initiate any um, uh, national uh, uh, project to serve the interest or public interest of all Sudanese people. Now, up to date, we still we facing some uh, uh, weakness and challenges in the proposals uh, presented by the uh, the political uh, uh, leaders that we have to create a special workshop also for uh, political uh, issues because uh, problems, uh, the Sudanese problem mainly originated in the political dimension. So we have to set up a special workshop for the political issues in Sudan because this is the leading problem for the Sudanese. The, the political congestion, the political problem is still not addressed by the workshops. One, so, of, it, one of the issues, I agree with you, yeah. is the system of, govern, of governance, which presidential or parliamentary? It is very important. Parliamentary failed and completely failed. failed. Uh, yeah. Not uh, in Sudan, in, even in In the world, in also England, proof. Uh, yes, even in, in the Great UK. Britain, yeah. from which we inherited this. Yeah unsuitable yes. system yes. and people are still yes. looking inside the box without raising their, their heads yes. to see, the, the, uh, to, to evaluate yeah. the 66 years after independence which yeah. was a complete failure yes. due to the parliamentary system. Yeah. I think after failure of the socialist system in the world and collapse of the USSR by the Borostroika in early, in the late uh, of the uh, 20th century, the second collapse will be to the parliament system in the world because proof it's not nothing. once, mm. twice, but several times inappropriate, especially for developing nations. Yes, and yes. we mentioned this several times. So the political workshop is important and it is a must. It should be because this is the root causes of the national this problem. For Sudan. Sudan, exactly. This is the yeah. We have to abandon completely. Yeah. And the political party's parliament. issue should be addressed. You are talking about the armed forces should exit from the politics. Yes. Who protects the armed forces? The political party. Political party. Now again, we are repeating the, 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 the civil service also fully politicized. Who politicized the civil service? The political party. Yes. So the problem originated in the political the system. Party. So right. we have to address this issue and a special workshop should be held in order to address the political system in Sudan mm -hmm. by all means. Parliament system failed and will fail in the future and again you will go to the vicious circle of the military coup. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now having said that, now we go back. Military coup, yes. It, it is. Uh, to me, I think the military coup is around the corner. Yeah. Now in this situation. <laughs> because of Parliament it's, uh, it, it is around the corner now in this situation. Yeah. So I want you to evaluate the framework agreement, whether it will be signed tomorrow uh, the fairest of uh, April, April, or the framework the evaluation in the absence of sizable number of political blocks or political entities or political personalities in the absence. Now they are absent and some started threatening and warning that they will take drastic measures to uh, offset or to combat or to face the formation of any government uh, yeah, by this framework. Yeah, so my judgment. Now the f framework agreement facing practical challenge. Practical challenge. That means the agreement should broaden the scope of participant by including 
uh, new players, by all means, if it were take the same uh, 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 paradigm or the same model today, definitely will face a very big challenge because of uh, masses of people opposing the agreement. The, the, the block, the democratic block, the, uh, 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 some political parties, the, the, the communist the party. Struggle now, now the, the armed struggle. The armed the struggle. The military of yeah. the Yuba, Yuba agreement. So it is dangerous to take the direction and to conclude the uh, framework on the position before us. You need to scope the, board, the, the, the scope of participation of Sudanese people. I, again, we repeat the same mistake of Juba agreement. Juba, does it uh, increase peace in Sudan? No. It harms the peace. So don't, let us not to take the same track. Not if yet. you go the same track, you will magnify the problem. So you have to stop and to add new players. Especially, you have to make hot discussion with the democratic bloc. And also the military components, you have to settle the, the dispute among them in order to sign the final agreement. Otherwise, you will get negative result for the effort yes, to yes. exert. Yeah. So this is an evaluation. Yes, but but, but my, my, my really, the, the, the stance of the international community, especially the UNITAMS and the quadruple rule, the, the tri -pri, that all this, that I'm sure they are fully aware of what will happen if they go supporting this small group against the majority. Why are they doing this? They are sure, sure, for yeah. Karate. It's, it's sure that this government, if it is strong, it will be a very weak government and it cannot and it will not hold for quite long. And it will be followed by a military coup. In Genir, we have another vertical approach to solve the problem. When I propose the political workshop, I think this is the spearhead for reform. We have to start from political arena, not from the uh, military or from the other workshops as mentioned, for example, the social justice. Because if we said the, the political uh, uh, relax in the society and immediately we have to elect the president, because if we accept the presidential system, within uh, six months we can elect the president who can regulate the state in a new uh, order. By taking the same track today by parliament systems and the current congestion, the agreement will face practical challenge to exist, even if it is sup uh, supported by the international community. Will not be uh, uh, keen enough to meet the opposition. Opposition is extended from the far west to the far east, to the north, to the south. Different states are uh, opposing the agreement. So you need to relax the assumptions. The FFC should give more chances to the uh, opponents of the agreement, should uh, relax uh, the uh, uh, current assumptions in order to uh, uh, take a new players, a democratic bloc, and the, the armed forces, they have to consider their opinions. So in order to uh, increase and broaden the scope of participation for the coming uh, government, otherwise, the government will not uh, stay for a long time and will face we'll actual, by, yeah, by catastrophe. Okay. Yeah. okay. Some people, they say that, some people, yeah. they say that the armed struggle groups, armed struggle groups, who are the signatories, the main signatories of Juba yeah. agreement, are, 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 are talking, they are not start the integration, reintegration process before they see that the rapid support forces is being integrated, or the process of integration started. So some people, they believe that these, these, these uh, people, they might be a, a big problem in the enlargement of, of the, of the uh, framework uh, participants. But on the other side, the free, for the freedom, who are, now, who are now on the other side of the framework agreement, they are adamant and they are categori categorically rejecting the inclusion of any other blocks uh, which had any connection with, with the with the OCD regime. Uh, so how can the project, how yeah. can it go? I think for military reform, I think let us take it as a package. All simultaneously, they have to integrate the RSF and the uh, armed forces and the different uh, 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 the uh, rebels movement or the uh, uh, 
the, the, the army uh, movements in the uh, national uh, uh, military forces. So this is a package and a program that including all together. It doesn't uh, need to go parallel. That first you have to integrate the RSF and then you can. Uh, this is not the ideal way to address the problem. The problem can be addressed in uh, a package and the reform can take a different dimension in security, in the armed forces, in police. This is a security uh, reform program, including all the, uh, the uh, security institutions in the state. So I think if they will take this direction, that will be better and will empower the civil democratic transformation. Otherwise, any uh, dispute among these military service will result in very weak uh, national government, in a very humble uh, civil uh, democratic transformation, uh, and even finally lead to the failure to reach the election. And that actually will uh, extend the, 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 the political and the economic tightness in the country. And finally, the whole program will fail, or the uh, December revolutions will be uh, disappear. This is the most important risk. So we have to uh, take the most uh, vertical way in order to address the security as a package. All them, they should go simultaneously. While you are integrating the RSF, you also can integrate the armed forces and to build the new uh, and uh, unified uh, professional uh, armed forces in Sudan from all the military stakeholders in the state. So I think the reform uh, process uh, involved in uh, uh, order to uh, lead the state or the country to the civil uh, or the democratic election at the end of the transitional period, you need to take a comprehensive approach to address the whole problem together in form of package and uh, all uh, the national uh, security problem should be addressed in the macro level rather than micro level. Like that. So, so, so you believe that generally, if you have to evaluate now the the, the, the remaining of the the uh, framework agreement, so as if you are saying that without enlarging the, the agreement, the, the, without the inclusion of some other bodies other than the, the present, yeah. it will not hold. It, it will, will be difficult, yeah, it will to be establish a, a successful uh, government, unless you include uh, other uh, players, uh, especially the democratic bloc and the other. Ni uh, in Guinea, uh, do, 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 they have to, do, do they have to forget people, you mean? You have to forget any? For me, for any me, affiliation yeah, with the, what the yeah I mentioned several times, in order to empower the civil democratic transformation in Sudan, which is the ultimate strategic goal for the uh, current uh, activities in Sudan, you need to exclude only criminal. You need to exclude only criminal. By, by, by default, all Sudanese people, they participate in NCB, National Congress. Uh, most, the of national, most of the Sudanese, about 90% of Sudanese people involved in NCB by way or another. Yeah. So excluding all the uh, Sudanese people that will weaken the government, we have to exclude only criminal. Criminal who kill the people, the one who stole the, um, the money of the people, the criminal only. only. Other people, you have to give them chance to share the uh, government. You have to share the power in order to make a powerful government that to uh, at least uh, to uh, uh, penalize the criminals and to enforce a law in the state. Unless you make this relax, you wouldn't be able to govern. By the way, 30 years, the NCB exercises all kind of uh, principles, uh, all kind of policies, they were originated in the Sudanese community. The, 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 the institutions of the old Sudan, the native administration, the religious Sikh, the, even the, secu the, the, the armed forces, the, the civil service, mostly controlled by the members of the NCB. If you were to exclude all of them, you wouldn't be able to continue. Difficult, because it's still majority of the Sudanese people were influenced by the policies of the NCB. So, in the the Eastern. NCB is so like as a tactic and advices to our friends in the government, they have to widen the scope of the participant. 
give relax to the restrictions. Uh, deflating power is not easy. Asia, the new member, signed the framework agreement, and he has no crime. You have to accept it. Why you are excluding them? Anyhow, anyhow, this is uh, this is this debatable. Way, this yeah. is this debatable yeah. because yes, yeah. they, 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 they also they did the same. They damage. Yeah. They damage the soldier fabric of the country. They damage the this also the I mean, and they they they, they perpetrated uh, money money uh, corruption. Yeah. So <laughs> these are in your list of criminals. No, any, any, any criminal should be excluded. I mean, well, any criminal, corruption. Any corruption should be excluded. But mm. other people who join the NCB, during the, and they are political and they, they played very a good role during that period, don't exclude them because you want to empower your government. Like the, 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 like the DUP, the Democratic Unionist Party. Yeah, Democratic Unionist Party. It's a historic parties, party. Yeah. And it has a size. It's size, even if it's very the East. Yeah. The DUP, the Democratic Unionist Party. Yeah. It participated yeah. in the. In, uh, even the members who are even in the party, Uma party the members also they, they participated the in a yeah, way, yeah. in a way by the assistant uh, by president. Yeah. Anyhow, that that is very body <laughs> issue, yeah. and we hope that uh, things will will go uh, to the best. We hope that the the mediator, the international community, should be aware of the consequences yeah. of forming yeah. or twisting arms yes. to form. A weak government yes. which will not hold and repeat the vicious cycle yeah. of coup. Yeah. If you go on the same uh, position today with the FCFC model that you don't like to deflate the po political process, you don't like to uh, uh, to uh, uh, intake any uh, one who share the uh, NCB, you, you have to make a large uh, front. You have to create at least the majority of the Sudanese people in the foreseeable government in we order hope, to make we, we, a powerful we, we, government. We hope that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Professor, Associate Professor Samani Hanun. Thank you, dear viewers, for being with us in the last half an hour. We hope to see you next week on a different issue, hoping that things will move to the better. Bye. <laughs>